Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the channel and welcome to the Isle of Wight. We are here at the Sandown Airfield for the Isle of Wight Mini Adventure with West Country Minis. So let's go and have a look at the minis here on display today. We start our look around at Sandown Airport with the minis with this one, Cooper S. This one's had a rear wiper delete, John Cooper Works tuning. It may just be a sticker, it may not have had any tuning at all. Twin exhaust pipes, which do say John Cooper works, so more likely it does than not. Wide wheels. Looks like it's been lowered a little bit as well. Carbon fibre style door mirror. Windscreen wipers as well done in carbon fibre. I imagine this is a wrap on here. Aqua graphic maybe. Very nice. One, two. The newer John Cooper works. Loving the stripes on this one. Mirrors folded in, of course. Panoramic sunroof. Liking these wheels on this one as well. And now we're at the classic minis. Or at least two of them. There's plenty of them here. Plane taking off. This is a working airfield after all. This one's a Mini Mayfair, J Reg. Slightly younger than my Mini. Plenty of stuff in the boat, which suggests the people who own this one are camping this weekend. Union Jack centre caps. The aerial makes it look a little bit like an RC car. Official Rover servicing sticker in there. For sure, I've got one of those at home somewhere in a booklet. Mini Cooper Anniversary Edition. We've covered these cars before in previous shows, but for people who haven't seen uh, those videos, this is the 35th Anniversary Edition of the Mini Cooper. They came with many, many different things, such as green leather interior, which went from not only the seats, but onto the steering wheel as well. These would be injection, as signified. By the 1.3i down there. They also got green arches, which are these are the same arches that I've got on my Mini City. However, they're just painted green rather than just standard black plastic. Contrasting white roof as well. 52 Reg Mini. This one looks like it's a Cooper with roof bars, little GoPro type mount on the front, white contrasting door mirrors. Here's a Cooper. Look. Very cool. Mini Countryman. Cooper SD, this one. The gyrocopter's now just taken off. Loving the way the graphics flow along the door. That's cool. All roof rails. They're quite neatly and tightly tucked in there, actually. Cooper S badging on there. Bonnet stripes. Quite cool. Wouldn't believe these cars are about nine years old now. 70 Reg Mini Clubman. So, fairly new this one. Obviously the traditional barn door style. So one opens that way, the other opens that way, not lift up or lift down. I do like actually on the newer Minis how you've got this little thing on top of the roof. Now obviously this is an aerial for your radio system. It's got a little light on it which I think suggests immobiliser on it. Either way it looks quite like an airplane which is quite cool. This Mini Cooper S called Ralph has been to Castle Coombe, member of the West Country Minis, and it's also done at Mini Run UK event somewhere. I did a Mini Run UK event at Cheddar Gorge earlier, uh, earlier this year. Didn't film it due to the weather being absolutely rubbish and the cameras would have just gotten waterlogged, but never mind. Maybe next year. Maybe the car isn't called Ralph, maybe the owner of it is called Ralph. I'm not sure, maybe they're both called Ralph. Either way, these little matte black stripes blend in, but they do stand out well enough that you notice them. 
along with the red. It's very cool, little West Country Minis flag. Mini Cooper Sports Pack. Love the shiny wheels on this. They look amazing. Twin tailpipes. Fuel injection, obviously. I love these larger plates on the back of the Mini. Really makes them stand out. Rover Japan. Pretty sure we've seen this at a previous show somewhere. Exhaust. The likelihood is we've seen a lot of these cars at shows before due to uh, mainly being in the south. So we probably will have seen them at places like Bewley and Castle Coombe shows in the past. Either way, the Japanese ones, for those who don't know, get air conditioning, which is quite cool. Single point injection, whereas cars the same age here usually got multi point injection. But because of, these, uh, because of the air conditioning, sorry, they had to have single point injection because they just didn't have the room for an MPI system. Fun fact of the day there. Little mini here with some dice inside it. Cooper. Little Union Jack cushion. You kind of got to have that. It's almost like a, a necessity with a classic British car. Very cool. Loving the little opening windows. Kind of wish mine had that, but given mine's city spec, which was base spec at the time, no, you didn't get that luxury. Anyway, this Mini here has been to two previous Mini events here on the Isle of Wight. You may well have even been to three. I haven't got around to the other window, yes. It's Cooper S. Looks like they're camping as well. Do you like the style of these wheels on these Mini Cooper S's? Ooh, different badge on this one. I'll go down, loving the stripe on the side. It's a mini checkmate edition. Again, one of the many editions the Rover did in the 90s and late 80s as well, respectively. Little mini SIS one. This one's got a rear wiper for Hubnut fans. That's the Mini Cooper S Touring. Airbag steering wheel, little clock in the dashboard, immobiliser and everything. Full setup on this one. We need the pillar in the back wearing a mask. Mini with a CB radio. Oh, Mini Cooper, this one. Shortened number plate, however, still quite long, so it fills up quite nicely. Been several events. In the Cotswolds, Bristol. We used to be part of the Bristol Mini Drifters Club. Have you ever run that kind of a deal? The Red Hot had a sister car in the Jet Black, which, surprisingly enough, Red Hot was red, Jet Black, that was black. This one's got one of those octopus plushes which changes around and has different faces and things, so you can have that depending on your mood at the time. A little chrome aerial. These are quite neat, stop fingernails from scratching the paint. Love the dashboard style, if you can see that. Apologies for the lighting, there's not really a lot I can do about that. Even these little door mirrors, these are cool. The next mini, white mini, so somebody who lives on the island has just come down for this show today. The 2009 Birmingham Longbridge IMM. Plenty of things in here. Lots of work going on, that's for sure. Little horn, adorable. Mini Clubman with a funky door. Plenty of events down there, as you can see. Part of the Haynes Breakfast Club, I would assume, judging by the HBC on that. Haynes Breakfast Club is a, uh, a meet at the Motor Museum down at Sparkford near Yeovil. Basically, it's a thing they do first Sunday of every month, go down there, have a bit of breakfast down there. Sparkly dashboard. This Mini we've definitely seen before at Castle Coombe and Bewley. Slightly faded paintwork, but it definitely makes it noticeable, helps it stand out. I love how uh, with faded paints, when you've had graphics on them, your graphics still stands out quite nicely. This Mini we've seen before, Muttley Racing Division. Team Wilson. Mini Clubman Front. 
These are cool. Love these indicators just there on the side. I'm not sure those were standard. Those might have been aftermarket edition. I mean, this has got a flip front, likely to be made out of fiberglass, I would imagine. I like these as well. Tiny wheels, 10 inch of course, racing tyres, fuel bib, so that when you fuel up your car you don't get fuel running all the way down your body. Not a mini at all, but I think we should mention it just whilst we're here. You've got the White Aviation Museum just located in one of the hangars, not one of these, but one just over the back from there. This vehicle is also displaying as part of that. Little Jeep from 1940s. These would have been shipped over uh, as a kit basically and built up and then sent off to fight because they couldn't ship them over as one big uh, vehicle basically. So they had them all disassembled and then went over in several different boxes, put together and used as scout vehicles during the war. Love the gun on there, acts as defence, steering wheel little shovel on the side as well as minis here today we've got rocker cover racing rocker covers are the things just on top of your engine which obviously hide everything so people have used those to make little races and the idea is they're gravity races start at the top first one down to the bottom wins it's as simple as that i'd quite like to uh, make one of these myself in the future we got this one which has been inspired by a bentley little roller skate wheels mr bean this Mini 1000 we've seen before at previous shows, namely Castle Coo Mini Action Day and Bewley as well. Raised digit number plates, tow bar, tow bar's for the win. Little roof rack on this one. The funny thing is, every roof rack is different for a Mini. The one I've got literally just hand tightens on. This one you need a spanner to tighten it up, and it's got these little suckery type things on the bottom to hold it on as well 10 inch wheels very cool loving the uh parcel shelf design there this roof rack on this mini called molly so different system just use a screwdriver to tighten it up and then everything is there whereas this one you got these little screws very different, very cool. Let's go back to Molly quickly. Look at that interior on Molly the Mini. You've got fur for days. I love the steering wheel of that era though. As we look over to this one, you've got a door pocket mounted speaker. That's quite different and unusual. Classic style radio. Wooden dashboard. Love the little rev counter there on the uh, steering column. Again, tow bar for the win. Mark 1 style number plate holder on the rear. This little mini's got a little knitted version of it inside. That's very sweet. I need to make a model of my mini at some point. West Country minis. Flags for days. Same little sticker I got on the back of mine. Obviously injection leather seats and everything. 16 Reg Mini Cooper. This is it. 16 Reg Mini Cooper in blue. West Country Minis again. Flying the flag for them. Wheels. Everything. It's got everything you could possibly need and or want in a car. Also, Mini. No Mini 57 Reg there with Kill Chrome air freshener here's another little mini in blue this time with a white roof very nice fuel roof bars quite a common brand for making roof bars these are love the exhaust on this one the next to it mggs don't see many of these but here is one Anyway, I'm sure we'll focus on one of these in a future video at some point. Not that it's a hint, I don't have anything on one coming up anytime soon. 
but we shall see what the future holds. This Mini's got something different about it in that the stripes aren't just solid stripes, they got little stars in them. And that's carried over to the roof as well, the uh, A panel. This one's done plenty of previous adventures. Oh, like Donkey Sanctuary. Who doesn't love a donkey? I love the seats in this though. This Mini here is for sale as always, this could be yours. Available as of the 15th of the 9th, 2021, so fairly soon. X Mini Mag feature car, lots of history and photos, comes with a turbo which isn't currently fitted. And it has a Suzuki Swift 1300cc engine under the bonnet, and here is that very engine. Twin cam, 16 valve by the looks of it, yep. Electronic fuel injection, classic mini radiator, so that fits in quite nicely. Move on to this one. Little minivan, external door hinges, love them, sliding windows. Interior mirror, that's a bigger mirror than standard, but it just flips on over the original one. Mini park lane seats, love the practicality of these. Of course, built on the same platform as the uh, Mini Estate, however, just with no rear windows. Keeps it simple. The next to it is this gorgeous mini pickup, fold back roof, aerial, loving the tonneau cover on this, this is lovely, this looks fairly new, very, fairly recent addition I would imagine, massive exhaust, speedo, rev counter, that's a massive rev counter. Mini 30th edition seats as well, which helps it stand out. Lovely engine under here, Dutch speed race engines. Another Mini has just turned up down there. Clubman 1275 GT. Little graphics, Team Heiko wind deflectors. I didn't realize they did them for the Mini. Rear window louvre, everything you could possibly want. Mini Cooper, matte black, little graphic down there, sunroof, Union Jack graphic over the rear window, or rear side window even. Little doubled in touchscreen unit in there for the radio. So very cool. Our 50 owners club. And these are cool as well, little graphics on the lights. Norfolk Mini Owners Club. Come down quite a long way for this thing, clearly. My Norfolk Dream, they can be found on Instagram. Tow bar. This one looks nice. There's quite a few people here who are not necessarily West Country, particularly. But nonetheless, very welcome at events like this. So, of course, the West Country Mini Club Isle of Wight Adventure is open to all with a Mini. Come on, come all. So, a Mini here's got same fuel cap as I have on mine, this country mini sticker, you tend to get one of those whenever you go to one of these events. Interior, wood rim steering wheel, like that very much. Sunroof, for sale, this could be yours. Cooper Sports Pack, do you like the seats on these. I saw seats for one of these go for about £700 fairly recently. They are not cheap items. Another Cooper Sports Pack. GB sticker on the back, Union Jack. Mr. Bean's Teddy. Loving the colour of the seats in this actually. Contrasting, very cool. Mini Roadster, pop up rear spoiler. Aerial just there at the back, stripes. John Cooper works this one. Or is this an aerial? Because this is an aerial. I'm not sure what that is. A little digital display in there. Quite a small steering wheel. Little roll hoops. On to the next mini then. Stone guard on the lights. This little cutout in the grill. Not quite sure what the purpose of that is. Whether there was something that did stick out slightly beforehand but no longer does. I'm not sure. 
orange engine bay so definitely keeping the theme of orange here it's past his noise tester mini action weekend which then became mini action day 2021 wooden roof rack with jerry can and spare wheel on it very cool aftermarket seats but well i'll say aftermarket from another car no idea which car but there we go these bits of wood look somewhat new some sort of rust club i think we've seen this at the castle coon mini action day weekend day weekend another mini with graphics on the roof and on the door mirror Portsmouth and Southampton Mini Owners Club I like orange on these orange works really well hopefully you might get a chance to film an R56 Mini this one's an R53 hopefully you get a chance to film an R56 at some point little pickups running away with exhaust pipes coming out the back which is quite an American style thing back to this one though we got a really good theme going on with this one with orange and green. It works very well together, it complements well. Mini convertible. B Road Hunting Club sticker. Graphics. We've seen this one at a show previously as well. As I said earlier on in this video, like it is we've seen probably the majority of cars here at previous shows before. Mini Cooper. A Mini Mayfair, you're now playing Catch the Mini. I need a sticker like that. Although it's not difficult, they're not exactly quick cars. Love this though. Little diamond pattern stitching in the back. That's cool. 1293 grey mini. No, really, that's what they call on Instagram. Blue mini on this 1000. Love the colour of this one. It's very bright. Raised digit number plate as well, very classical. An exhaust. Mark 1 style rear lights on this Mini. Not a Mark 1. They even had a little cushion with a car on it. Sweet. Centrex exhaust. This little Mini's got cosmic alloy wheels down here, which look amazing. But look at this, the dashboard. Just look at that center speedo, the uh, style around it. That's amazing. Had a drop kit as well for the steering column, so it's a little bit lower, a bit more sporty, the seats a bit further back, so that will have had a kit on it as well, I would imagine. This little mini has got wind deflectors as well. Into previous Isle of Wight adventures. So I've seen this in last year's video, I'm quite sure cameras I'm holding a new camera compared to these ones otherwise this would be filmed in like four ratio or something like that I'm not sure four by nine that's the ratio pretty sure this one is also called Millie but with a Y mine's Millie with an IE little racing number on this white Mini with pepper pot alloys colors match to the bodywork Bonnie this one is I love how they got their little club on the uh, spotlight covers that's awesome me with black wheels red surround grill mini badge same with my mini badge of course the rover star one look how skinny the tires are though adorable mark on front grill on this mini cooper sport 1225cc multi-fuel injection Plenty of info on this one. I don't think this one's for sale though. A lot of people put information, stickers and bits of paper in the front of their minis. Helps those who are here just have a look, get to know their cars a bit better. After all, many of the cars here are just showing, uh, showing off their components. Have a look. Clean radiator, lovely clean engine. It's very green. Oh look, Morris Mini Cooper Mark II, certified this one. Mini Cooper Register, Mini Day as well. I've seen that one in the Bewley video. 
couple more minis have shown up since we started off down here. Some have left. Have a quick look at those in a minute. Pleasure radiator, red silicon piping. Stripes continue, door spots. Sport pack arches on this one. That's a slightly different badge. I'm not sure what that badge signifies. What's your addition? I mean, either way, loving the interior seats on this one. Very cool. Rear lamp. Hello, I'm Mini Adventure 2020. Fan of Valentino Rossi, TV radio by the looks of it. This will be base spec, city or sprite, depending on the age. This one again, we've seen at previous events, K Reg, so it might be a very late city, early sprite. <coughs> I love these mud flaps, they look cool. The seat's not too dissimilar to mine. Flip front on this one. Sorry, cracked paintwork, but never mind. Rather see it here than stuck at home in a garage. Sunroof. Mini Clubman. Heading out. Little Mini heading out as well. Obviously, parking up is a little bit of a club. Southeast Mini Club. Let's have a quick look at this one. Very cool. Love the arches on it. I might get myself some uh, Group 2 Rally arches, which are slightly different in style to these ones. I think, are they? Oh no, these are them. Oh well, I'd like to get one, a set of these for my Mini. Racing seats. Little yellow Mini goes past, creamy yellow. Very cool. Mini's moving everywhere. Cooper Sport. This one, John Cooper Stripe. This is the one with the crack paints, that's where we left off. Little Cooper moving down. Flip front, as I said. Mini Cooper seats in there. Sunroof. Everything you could possibly want. This one's got interesting alloy wheels on it. Mini's from Bristol. Very cool, sunroof again. Mini sidewalk, as always, we'll never not make a fuss about these seats because they are amazing. And the dashboard as well, seems to be colour matched to the paintwork of the car. Little stripes. There we go. The noisiest camera in the world. Very wide alloy wheels on this mini pickup. Look at this though, this is cool. Really like this style. If I was to have a mini pickup, it would definitely have something similar to this. Tiny fuel filler cap down there. What I find interesting is the uh, normal mini saloon fuel caps are on this side, whereas on this one, the longer wheelbase mini, such as the estate and the pickups and the vans and things like that, all on the UK driver's side. Hmm. Mini Cabriolet. This I'm not sure would have come from factory like this. This has probably been an aftermarket company. Either way, something different and cool. Orange Mini. The best colour for a car. Undisputed. Look at those. Nope. Little racing. It's not really a wheel spot, but a uh, handle. Crow and mirror. And a Riley Elf. Of course, the booted minis. Even though minis do have a boot, of course, booted because the fins, a little bit American style. On a tiny little mini based car. It's all suddenly kicking off. We've got three minis coming in. Three minis leaving. Yes, the Riley Elf. Just a car for the Wolseley Hornet. Developed to be a more luxurious version of the original Mini. Also appealed to those who wanted to cover a slightly different face of the Mini. Some people didn't like the face of the Mini, so they went with the Elf. But arguably, some people who really liked this didn't like this. So. 
is a two-way street. Either way, very cool. You got a walnut dashboard, walnut gear knob. So bad steering wheel. This is not a standard steering wheel in one of these. We also got leather seating and door cards. I do like these little handles though. Very much door handles, aren't they? Rather well, than just a pushing button that pulls the door. Look, little lights. Love those. Smart too well, this one. Right, more minis still to see down there. But before we move on, I saw the 2006 one tucked away with all these other cars. Imagine uh, people who are either coming here for the gyrocopters and planes or some of the stalls down there. Either way, there's the wind sole. Just to get an idea of how windy it is here today. Mad old minis down here. Door spot on this mini. It's a mini thing graphic down there on the centre console. A little cup holder as well. That looks like it comes out of the uh, old ashtray, which people such as myself now use as a coin holder for car park change. Having the seats is very cool. Little Mini, this one's called Ginny, Ginny the Mini. Number 26, Union Jack Roof. London to Brighton 2018, this one took part in. You might have seen this at our previous show. This is Mabel the Mini. We've seen this one at several events before, and that's because it was the car that Mini Spares put together at IMM 2019. Now, I have got a video about IMM 2019, but I didn't actually film it because that was pre me doing YouTube videos, especially on a weekly basis. However, if you want to find out about that, to go back and watch that video. But yes, originally this is a 1966 car, and Mini Spares stripped it all down. Uh, did necessary repair work. In fact, there's a little bit of the original shell left in this, but a lot of it is new metal. And then at IMM 2019, Mini Spares put it all together there in front of whoever was willing to come up and have a look. I was one of those people. You could buy a raffle ticket for this car for £10. I didn't enter that raffle because um, I already had a Mini and didn't have space for another one, so there was no point. Even though that was the weekend, my bypass hose exploded, so uh, yeah. Maybe felt like getting a new Mini at that point, but didn't actually want to go through with it because I liked mine too much. Some very nice little details, you've got an IMM gear knob in there to signify the event. Steering wheel made out of, well, not made out of, trimmed in leather. Looks lovely in here, doesn't it? Very nice. Like oh, the little Mini Spares centre rocker cover on here as well. That's very cool. Another plane taking off. Mini Clubman. Strong fibre arches. Massive wheels. Small cars, big hearts. Very cool. Mini ERA Turbo. These things are quick. Rear wiper came as standard on these with a washer jet as well. Massive exhaust. These things are very, very quick. Can confirm. Got into a little bit of a game of leapfrog with one on the way back from the BMC and Leyland Show 2020 when travelling in convoy with Joseph Lloyd. Here's another mini. We've definitely seen this one at Castle Coombe. I remember the Batman style centre caps. Number plate and everything along with that theme. Love the interior though. Gorgeous. This elf is also very distinctive. We saw this one at Castle Coombe too. Distinctive in the way that it's a sprint and a sprint is not usually made out of an elf or a hornet. However, this one is. Custom seat, well I say custom again, from another car or an aftermarket company at least. Cobra, these ones are. Very cool. This Mini here, definitely signifying the fact that it's a car that was built under BMW ownership. Those little spotlights, that's cool. Mini JCW, 
Some of them have got their boarding passes. This one called the 10 o'clock ferry over here, which meant it probably got here sometime around half 10, quarter, sorry, half 10, half 11, quarter to 12-ish. Like the little graphics on this mini. Little number. Mini sports pack. Airbag wheel. These were necessary updates for the Mini to keep it in production in the mid 90s. Especially as things like Euro end caps sort of came in a bit later on in 97, 98 ish. BF safety had to be improved on these so they had um, stiffer side supports, airbags, you name it. This one we've seen at Castle Coombe as well. F Reg Mini with a Clubman flip front fiberglass front end and a Nissan Twin Cam 16 valve engine. <laughs> Halfway under it, it's like. Classic Mini Rosie, as they can be found on Instagram. Very sweet little Mini too. Mini Cooper S. Another Mini Cooper. This one being. No, Reg, so later on, not quite a sports pack, but still a Cooper. Lovely interior, little clock. Love the alloys. A Cabriolet. Do like the wheel style on these ones. And this one's got a good theme with Silver paint, black stripes, and little red details. Love the wheels as well. These are very cool. This is different with the side skirt, little vent. Not sure if it does anything or not, but it's there. Just come back down to this mini because it's got this little thing on the back. Something different that helps it stand out massively. Also, tow bar action. You don't usually see these on. Um, New Minis, other than maybe the Countryman and maybe the Clubman Estate. And this is the Mini that turned up a bit later on, whilst we were a bit further down the road, but uh, we can have a look at it now. Trim wheel. Ooh, Rover K Series, by the looks of it. Is this the same one we saw at Castle Coombe? I'm not sure, it might well be. New uh, John Cooper Works Convertible. Another 35th Anniversary Edition Mini Cooper. Mini Cabriolet. A second Mini Cabriolet. Love the seats in this, Recaro style. It's great little things. This Mini City won Best Mini in Show here last year. And for that, the owner got a ride in a gyrocopter. One of those little things just over there. This Mini's for sale. 1988 Mini City E. 56,000 miles. This could be yours. Mini Cooper. Bonnet stripes. Love it. Very cool. Love the little spot lamps as well. Gyrocopter in action. So the person who owns the on the city there got that. Lucky them. Mini Cooper S, Union Jack on the door mirrors and on the roof as well. Zip styled. Mini logos down the bonnet, spot lamps, LEDs by the looks of it. British Bulldogs in there with mini merchandise on them. Mini JCW, John Cooper Works, loving wheels. Nord to 60 eventually. Yes, I need that sticker on mine as well. Mini Cooper S. Mini John Player Special. I'm pretty sure we've seen this at um, Mini and Metro Day. And that's all BMC and Leyland show. They sort of all blend into one. Same venues and all that. 
similar cars turn up to both. This is cool, obviously based on the John Player special liveries of the 60s and 70s. Very neat, little map of the Isle of Wight there by the looks of it. Mini John Cooper works. Little cushions in there as well. Little blue mini. Leather seats. Everything you could possibly want. And you've got this one just here on the end as well. Mini Cooper Sports Pack. This one being W Reg or even. No, is it? No, it's 51. It's a very late one, this one. Gosh. 04 Reg. Mini Cooper, plenty of lighting options on this one by the looks of it. This one looks lovely, love these lights, engine bay. Contrasting little blue checkerboard roof, wheels. I love the steering wheel on that actually, that's different and cool. Mini Clubman Estate, looks like it's been made into a van with lift up roof rather than the typical barn door style look at all the practicality in there it's even got a full width rear bumper as well that's different spare wheels on the roof and led bars another one Same thing. There you go, barn doors on this one. Number plate raised up though onto the door. And here's another one with Guinness on the back. Mini convertible in there. Look at all the loveliness. I love this little uh, windbreak in the back. I think that's what it is. Kind of acts as a bit of a protector for luggage, which can go underneath there on the rear seats if you haven't got rear passengers. Which, of course, you can't if you've got this. Little creamy coloured mini just over there next to an orange Clubman estate. Love an orange Clubman estate. Practicality in the back. I'd love a Clubman estate at some point. Not sure I can give up Millie though. Dad. Me Cooper. Me Cooper. Well, Daddy's here. It's very cool. It's clubbing with a bonnet scoop. The solar panel there, which I'm assuming is a trickle charger. Little light mini with roof rack. Studio 2 mini. And a pickup back down here. A mini with two shades of orange. It's a lovely orange though, the main body of it. It's a metallic orange by the looks of it. Definitely keeping the theme going on the interior. Very cool. I'm liking the rear headrest as well. That's different. Mini pickup. I love how you can pick up the two bits individually as well. That's cool. Brooklyn's Mini Day of 2018, this one went to. Morris Minor, not a Mini, but uh, a bit of a precursor to the Mini. In the sense that Minis use a lot of components from these. Apologies for the wind noise if you can hear it. It's quite breezy here because it's so open being an airfield. Mini Cooper Sports Pack. Mini Miner with a little bear in the back. Mini Countryman. Little graphics on here. Definitely de chrome this one. Like in the blue around the wheel, basically these are meant to sort of protect the car. 
carbon fiber bits. Oh, a wrap at least, if not genuine. Cooper Sports Pack. Little Mini, part of the British Mini Club. Beans Castle Coombe Action Day 2012. Me 1000, this one. This one's actually staying at the same location I'm staying at this year. Cosmic Alloys. Cooper Sports Pack. Very nice condition as well. Mini Cooper. Beans Caffeine and Machine, this one. An R50 Owners Club Mini, this one. So this is an R50. Quadruple Spotlight Action. A Mini that I'm sure will be familiar to all of you. Mine. Mini the Mini looking rather gorgeous in the sunshine. Yes, I have actually cleaned it today for this one. This Mini looks different. Yellow wrap on here. Looks like the car was originally black, but has now had some little bits on, such as uh, either a different bonnet or wrapped bonnet. Not quite sure. Looks like a red bonnet. Either way, it gives that sort of Harlequin look. Gorgeous little puppy down there at the back. Riley Elf. And that's the one problem with the Elf. Engine access hampered. You got to sort of try and get underneath this or around the side, which is not easy when you've got the bonnet stay. So really, your only access is this side, which is not great. That's why one of those kits, which lifts the bonnet up at a 90 degree angle, is really good. Hello. Rally Star Mini, this one. Pretty sure we've seen this one here before as well. Loving these, little arches. Very cool. If we have a look inside quickly, it's got all the switch gear and everything. Sliding windows. External door hinges. Mini Cooper S. Sunny roof. I was trying to the owner of this one earlier. It's a nice little mini this one. It's got an MG Metro engine. It's even got a rear wiper look. I don't think this one has been Downson tuned on the engine, although it may well have been previously. Just something to help it stand out. k air filter. Love the mirrors. Yes, MG Metro engine. Boards to 1310cc, so fairly quick. HIF 44 carb in there as well. This Mini's got a distinct theme going on with skeletons and pirates and everything else. Especially with uh, compare the meerkat.com merchandise. Yes, no, it's compare the market, but shh, compare the meerkat.com. Who remembers those adverts? Loads of bicycle lights on here by the looks of it. Horn, tempting to press that. Probably won't, probably get shouted at by the owner. Little white night cover this mini is looking a little bit crusty in places to say the least however it is still running and it's here as i've said before i'd rather see these cars at the shows than hidden away in a garage somewhere besides remember rust is lighter than carbon fiber and it's also free carbon fiber expensive no rust is the way to go clearly swift tune racing Little rally spot lamp on the roof. And it even has the controls in there. Oh, excellent. Love these in the back. Little uh, headphones, so you can keep in contact with everyone else in the car. Liking these little speakers in the back as well, Pioneers. Roll cage, everything you possibly want. And you've also got this one, very wide wheels. That black rear bumper. Massive speakers. So as well as we're here then, we're in the camping area where we've got some more minis. Not necessarily in the display area, but they're already here. So let's have a quick look at them. Got a mini Clubman here. Looks like a personal play because these minis weren't out in 2010. These came a bit later. A Henry Hoover inspired mini Sprite. Look at that little face on the front. Henry and George Hoover. Very cool. 
something different, helps it stand out. A mini that's very well known in the scene, this is Chop. So it's cool because it's had the roof chopped down. Mini Sprint style, usually they're done by about four inches now. This one, six inches, it's made a huge difference. Rear valance, made into a sunscreen type thing. Not sure on the official name of those, but there we go. And wood style paintwork. Yes, paint, not a wrap. Little Mini Cooper here on Dunlop D1s. Tiny overtaking mirror. Lovely. Been on plenty of previous Isle of Wight adventures. Mini Miner. External door hinges, sliding windows. Even external mirror. Love the grill, especially with the indents on it. Little Mini Cooper. Mini pickup. That's the one we saw earlier on with two exhaust pipes sticking out the back. Well, there does have a genuine one down there. Mini Cooper. Clubman with what looks to be some sort of kayak surfboard rack type thing. Teardrop trailer. I imagine that's been towed by. Well, it will have been towed by a Mini, but whether it's a new one or an old one, I'm not sure. I would love to have a teardrop trailer or caravan. They're so cool. So to bring a tent up every time, every, anyway. I've done a lot of camping this last year. Little Cooper Sports Bank with Austin style wavy grill in black. Sounds lovely. Centrex exhaust. Mini Cooper S. Cooper Sports Pack. Just at the back, lovely little blue Mini with a Mini JCW GP. This Mini, I'm pretty sure I saw it Minis in the Gorge. I recognise this teardrop from somewhere anyway, and I'm pretty sure it was there. Either way, as I just said, would love to have one of these one day, so with my Mini. And the final Mini of the show, this little Mini here, Pier Edge 10 inch wheel, so it's had a conversion. Gold stands out against the black paint. Looks amazing. We've had a good selection here on display today. We are now back at Millie the Mini, which means that's the end of the show walk around. We've had a good display of cars here today. Certainly been plenty of variety, plenty of good looking cars, both old and new. That's the thing that I love about the Mini scene. It's not just, it's not just exclusive to one type of Mini, it's open to Minis of all sorts, whether it be the Classics or the kit cars based upon the Classics, the more modern Minis from the early 2000s through to the modern day. It's a very, I find at least from what I've seen of the shows I've done this year so far, as this I think is the second to last show that I'll be doing with the Mini this year. It's an inclusive community and I really like, I really like that basically. I hope you've enjoyed the Mini Isle of Wight adventure here at Sundown Airport with the show. I will be having a little video of the little run that's going to be happening as well, which currently hasn't happened, we're still here, but will be happening later on this afternoon, so I'll have a separate video of that. So uh, yes, hopefully you look forward to that. So until the next video, for now, thank you very much for watching, and I shall say farewell.